Our overall health and well-being is dependent on healthy skin. This top layer of skin is dead, putrid, acidic, problematic. Problems include acne, cellulite, swollen ankles, ingrown hairs, bumpy, patchy, rashy skin. This dead layer is blocking and clogging our pores, inhibiting them from detoxifying and sweating. We must sweat. Sweat is one more way that we get rid of the funk. When we remove the dead layer, when we exfoliate our skin, we reveal a living, youthful, vibrant layer. How do we exfoliate? With this your new dry brush. When you start dry brushing your skin daily, your skin will look and feel so great, you will become a lifelong committed dry brusher. You will feel so invigorated from dry brushing, you'll tell everyone you know about dry brushing. When we dry brush, we improve all systems. Circulatory, lymphatic, hormonal, digestive, excretory, immune. When this living layer of skin is revealed, we absorb the moisturizers. We nourish through the skin. It's no different than eating. You don't want to put anything on your skin that you wouldn't eat. No junk. You know what junk is. Keep it away from me. Don't just glop any old gunk on your skin. Bargain basement lotions. Use vegetable oils. Avocado oil, sunflower, coconut. Everyone should dry brush, exfoliate. Every age, all the time, never too late, every morning. The only warning, if you have any cuts, abrasions, or blisters, don't dry brush that area. Sensitive or fair skin that sunburns easily or reddens on touch, don't use a dry brush. Just use a soft washcloth, clear, bright skin gives us confidence and mental ease. Those are important. We start at the feet, moving in circles. And circles is a great way to dry brush. I've been doing this for 25 years. And you want to get every part of the leg. And we're going to do both legs. Of course, I'm just demonstrating one. If you have an area, the ankles are swollen, spend more time there. If you're worried about cellulite, spend uh, some extra time there. Of course, you won't be in a swimsuit. Our colon moves up on the right, transverses across, and down on the left. So dry brush in that direction. And two, when you move to your back, follow that same direction of the colon. You can see my skin is turning red as the circulation increases. And we'll do both arms. I'm just doing one here. And particularly, you want to get underneath the arm. That upper arm area can be an area that has decreased circulation. Some gentle strokes up the neck. And there we go. Dry brush.